Hey, what's going on everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And today I'm pretty excited because we've got a brand new enclosure that we've uh, taken some really key time in ensuring that we develop an amazing solution. And uh, it's a printer, it's for a 3D printer that has some really high energy right now and we are stoked on it because it is a really high performing printer. So let me show you what the new Bamboo Labs P1P enclosure is all about. Okay, so here it is guys. The new Bamboo Labs P1P enclosure by Clearview Plastics. So, with our enclosure, what we designed is a modification around Bamboo's uh, armor mod. And what we did is we developed a enclosure that is nice and tight fitting and at the same time functional in that we cover the top, the sides, we've got a magnetically latched front door and a back panel as well. Notice that uh, right here we have a filter port cover for future improvements so that we can add a air filter or exhaust line onto those that are uh, printing with uh, filaments like ABS and ASA. Um, so what makes this design, uh, what we think really well thought out is, first off, we tapered all of the panels. So instead of just meeting the panel up to the 3D printed uh, framework, we actually made it so that the panels uh, overshoot that. And so there's a, they're tapered over a little bit. And that's actually key because when we're printing, that's actually gonna keep nice warm air inside of this printer. So for us, we print with mostly PETG. Uh, we also print with ASA, but we've been printing uh, our stuff with PETG and we're getting chamber temps of about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And so that warm chamber temp, that gives you less warping and so you get a better print quality and then you also get stronger parts. And so we really believe strongly that in closing the printer, not only does it look good, but it's also functional in that you get a better printing environment. And then it also keeps dust from outside the enclosure out and then it keeps particulate that is the result of 3D printing inside the enclosure. So we like to think that it also makes a healthier, cleaner printing environment for the user as well. So uh, check this out too. On the lid here, we also have magnetically latched the lid with four magnets. So it lifts off super easy and you can see the magnets on the corner there. Come on, focus there, there we go. And so it's totally accessible and easily accessible from uh, the, the top side. So if you uh, need to change your filament, it's, uh, it's a pretty quick and easy change. Um, also, our door has a pretty unique design in that, A, we've got nice magnetic latches that are effective and hold the door on well. And then also our, our hinge system is a drop-in hinge system. So that means that the door unmounts and mounts back on super fast, super easy. So there's one more thing I'm gonna show you guys. And I wasn't gonna show this, but what we did I think looks so cool and I'm really stoked about it that, man, I wasn't, I really wasn't even gonna come out with this until around like Mar like May, but I think it's so cool that I really wanna show you guys right now because it looks dope. Check this out. Okay, so this is the alternative option that we've developed for the Bamboo Labs P1P enclosure. As you can see, this option has really cool orange, amber, panels that give it kind of an industrial style lab looking aesthetic. 
We actually use these panels on our um, our laser engraver enclosures because it blocks a certain level of uh, wavelength that the lasers operate at. For this, it's more of an aesthetic piece, but once we turn off the lights, I think you'll see that this is a pretty cool option. So we've got the Bamboo Labs uh, LED set installed in here. We think that it's a very cool lab looking orange hue that is developed here, but also if you notice the edge of the panels kind of have a, an orange glow to it as well. So really we think that looks pretty sick and it sets off the look of this enclosure and uh, totally amazing printer. So <clears throat> what we're offering is we are offering the clear in acrylic and polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is sick because it's a higher temperature uh, material. So if you're printing with materials like ASA and ABS, polycarbonate, where you really need a high chamber temperature, polycarbonate might be the way to go for you. If you are the type of user that is printing with um, PLA or Flex or PETG, then actually acrylic might actually be the better way to go. For us, for me, I kind of prefer acrylic because it's a little bit more scratch resistant, a little bit stiffer, so it has a kind of like a, 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 a more professional uh, kind of lab feel compared to polycarbonate compared to polycarbonate has really high durability. Um, they both have the same clarity, but, put, but polycarbonate has that higher uh, temperature rating. So uh, <clears throat> the in, in clear, you can get that in acrylic or polycarbonate. In, with our orange panels, that is acrylic only. I just wanna finish off by uh, saying one more thing. And uh, that's that here at Clearview Plastics, we build, we design, and we ship all of these enclosures right out of our workshop in Sacramento, California. And uh, at Clearview, we're, we're a small business, and I wanted to say that we're appreciative people and that when you work with us, that comes with genuine gratitude and appreciation. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we get a lot of uh, inquiries, and so sometimes it takes a little bit of time for us to get back to you, but we will absolutely answer your questions uh, with, uh, with good knowledge, and we'll be happy to help you out. Uh, if you want to see our, our line of enclosures, head on over to clearviewplastic.com. That's clearviewplastic, plastic is singular, Dot com. Um, or you can reach out, you can hit us up at contact at clearviewplastic.com if you have any questions. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much.